Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we'll learn what's new in Laravel 10.12 So let's start, first of all here I have my uh, Laravel 10 project called Learn 10 And as you can see here, sorry, here's this one and I will say PHP Artisan About As you can see my Laravel version now is uh, 10.9 Right, so I will back to my composer.json file and here in the Laravel framework attribute I will set it to 12 then I will run a composer update here now I upgraded my version of Laravel so if I run again beach artisan about as you can see here it's 10.12 latest version right so back here so the first thing added here in Laravel 10.12 by the way our source is laravelnews.com right here adding conditional sleep message so here I will back and I will say for this class sleep right first I will run my index re index my workspace and I will say here sleep for and unit one or three seconds right if or when here user is premium or don't sleep if user is not premium I will say here user equal to user uh, first or find one here my users table and imagine this is plans so this user is not premium user so it will delay its response for three seconds because he is not subscribed maybe in the premium Balance. So if I back here and I will refresh my page one, two, and three. As you can see here, let's try for user ID number two who is premium. So back here and I will say find two, refresh, and works correctly. This case can be used for maybe free plans user, even unit set on a chat GPT when you use free plan. It delays sometimes not like the uh, premium blend works so faster or even for some files that allow you to download free files it make you wait for 10 seconds maybe after that it can be start downloading or processing your request so here is a useful use case for this uh, conditional also we can use unless it's added by the way unless is premium it will be delayed so if I back and refresh again works for ID number one refresh and also it will be delayed for three seconds. The second thing here is the job time event or job time out event. It happens after a job exceeds its time out. So if I will back here to my uh, project and I have created this method which writes hello from job to my log and here's my Laravel. And if I run here a uh, job PHP artisan or artisan queue work right and I will back here and I will dispatch it when I send request to this URL here send request now it must work works back to my laravel.log and it wrote hello from job works correctly but what if I delay it for example here in my dispatch method or handle method here I will say sleep right or or here five seconds and I will run it here again Q work and I will set time out for three seconds only and before that I will define this event here to my event servers service provider so I will back to set it here event service provider and I will say here what's called job timeout. Call it class. And I will say I will create a new listener called here art make listener notify about failed or time out job. I will say here notify about timeout job class and I will 
say here again log info job time out right just for testing and I will back here to my event service provider now I will delay my method it must take at most three seconds and here I am delaying for five seconds so let's see what happened here is my laravel.log it must write here the job time out so I will truncate it back run here and I will send the request here again let's see and here is time out back to our listener as you can see here I run it again and it job time out right so let's test again job time out send the request runs didn't work see here let's retry and rerun our worker and it fails as you can see here right because I am delaying it here for five seconds so it can maybe useful for sending invocation as it's suggested here right and then something related to markdown millables actually I will skip it for now and a new method added for assertion for testing so as you can see here in our uh, web file first I will close these files here web file I'm sending get request and if I run here for example test right feature and I will say get assert it works so I will say test send get only or method get only so if I run this test here test hyphen hyphen filter run it works let's run it again it works but if I test it here for this post for example slash assert method assert method not allowed because it must uh, accept the get method only right so if I run it again here it works correctly and it's equal to assert status 405 right the same but assert not allowed it's more meaningful so if I run it again here the same result right so the last thing here or before last thing we have missed called force create quietly which skips any model even so if I back here to my a user model user and in my boot I will create a new observer using a boot method here I will say function a boot and it must be static and I will say here also parent boot right and for static while creating for example a new user here function model here I will save a user or model while creating it name must be capitalized for example str or uc first here model name so if I back here again in my uh, users factory I would say artisan tinker and I will say user factory here create and it's created this user here capitalized as you can see what if I disable it here it's actually capitalized let's use for example st art to uh, to upper make all letters in capital so back again run refactor as you can see all are capital and to not running this uh, event observer while creating we can use method here called this one force create quietly method so I will back here and I will say for example user equal to user factory make right as you can see here I will say to array right and I will say here user 
force to create quietly, which means the user will save like this without capitalizing or making each letter in uppercase. So I will say here, user, we must fill password. So I will say here, array merge, right? Password for now, one, two, three. So again, as you can see here, name is normal and not fired this event, right? The last thing here is about time zone validation rule. It's now can be validated by continent. Well, as you can see here, Africans time zones only or all things or beer countries. So let's try it here. So I will back to my controller, user controller. And I think I have some requests to test here called request or sorry, create request. For example, create product request here. I will say request back here. I will remove all of this stuff and I will say here time zone. Imagine we have a field called time zone and its rule will be time zone from Europe only, right? So from where we can know, is it from Europe or not? We can say here in BHB, is there is a function called, I think, a list identifier. Yes, this method here, time zone, time zone identifiers list, as you can see, array of a continent and cities. As you can see here, continent and city, right? So it must be Europe slash a city in Europe, for example, Europe slash Istanbul. Right, so I will define it here and I will use it as API. I will say here for user controller class index method and here in my Thunder client extension. I will say here learn 10, learn 10 test API time zone. For example, now I will say maybe Africa. Africa slash Cairo, something like this. And if I send a request, as you can see, time zone not valid. But if I send, for example, a Europe slash maybe Istanbul, now it works, it's okay, right? Let's try, for example, it will accept only time zone from Africa. So if I back here and I will say, send the same request, doesn't work, London, doesn't work. And if I try, for example, here again, Africa, Cairo. Now it works, right? It can be also specified per country. As we can see here, it can be specified for country like this, because maybe US and one country may have multiple time zones. So if I back here and I will say the time zone of New York is here, uh, America the continent name America slash New York. Yes, it must be like this New York, right? Send and it works again. But if I send it, for example, let me list all the available uh, America continent here and I will disable it. Send it again. For example, I will search for America and maybe this thing it's it's not in America or in for Argentina and I will try to send it right and I will enable it again. It must accept only time zones for America and uh, any city or country that we uh, defined here. So back and send it again and it doesn't work right so also america has two time zone los angeles los angeles yes this thing here send and enable it again send the request again here and it works successfully here is quickly what's new in laravel 10.12 if you found it useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next